Hi, my name is Brandi Colbert and I am the author of Blackbirds in the Sky. The Tulsa Race Massacre occurred in 1921 after a young black man named Dick Rowland was accused of assaulting a young white woman named Sarah Page. Dick Rowland was arrested and a white mob formed outside of the Tulsa County Courthouse threatening to lynch him. A group of black men drove across the train tracks to try to defend Dick Rowland, but a scuffle ensued between the two groups, and soon the white mob chased the black men back across the train tracks and began destroying the Greenwood District, looting and burning homes, and murdering anyone they could find. At the end of it, they had raised about 35 square blocks, destroying an entire neighborhood. When I learned about the Tulsa Race Massacre, I felt a connection to the event because I grew up just three hours away in Springfield, Missouri. My family and I used to visit Tulsa sometimes or fly out of their airport. And I was really surprised to learn that something so tragic had happened um, so close to where I grew up. And I didn't have any idea about it until I was an adult. The residents of Greenwood had just about everything they needed in the neighborhood and didn't have to leave. And that was also incredibly important because it meant that they were growing their wealth themselves and weren't reliant on anyone else to help build up this district that had been built out of necessity, but ended up becoming a real livelihood and just a real place for them to feel comfortable and to shine, which was really significant because at the time, Oklahoma was segregated by Jim Crow laws. And so the whole reason the Greenwood district was built was because the black Tolsons were not allowed to go where the white Tolsons lived and worked unless they were working as domestic workers in those homes of the white Tolsons. The massacre had a giant impact on Tulsa. It destroyed the entire Greenwood district. People were left without family members and friends, and in most cases, their homes and certainly their businesses. This affected them not only you know, in their personal lives, and their business lives, but it also meant that any kind of wealth they could have accrued to pass down to their descendants, they were not able to do so because they had to either start all over or leave and just pursue something else entirely. I wanted to tell the story of the Tulsa Race Massacre because it's just one of many incidents in American history that have been intentionally erased. We all deserve to know the past and how it impacts our future so we can move forward as a country. Blackbirds in the Sky is perfect for the classroom. It not only tells the story of the Tulsa race massacre itself, but it tells about so many things, the factors and the incidents and in American history that led up to the destruction in the Greenwood district. So you have everything from the chapter on Oklahoma that details the forced relocation of native nations and the Trail of Tears to land runs and the oil boom. You have the history of black soldiers in the United States and you have um, the summer of 1919 with more than 40 race massacres. You have um, the history of media and how that came to play a part in the Tulsa race massacre. So all of these separate chapters can be used to supplement additional lessons outside of the book, but then they also work together to form a cohesive unit that I believe will be helpful to educators. I think it's also incredibly important to remember our history to honor survivors of such traumatic events as the Tulsa Race Massacre. Um, so many people lost their lives and so many people lost their family members and friends and to erase an event like this is quite disrespectful to those people and they deserve much more after what they had to go through. There are many things I hope readers take away from Blackbirds in the Sky, but some of the most important things to me are that history matters, truth matters, and it matters who is telling stories like that of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about Blackbirds in the Sky and the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921. Please keep an eye out for Blackbirds in the Sky and be sure to share it widely.